So what is the heat index? Well, the heat index takes into account temperature and humidity and indicates how it feels to your skin. How does it feel out there, the actual temperature and the humidity? Well, full sunshine increases the heat index, gives us plenty more heat to deal with and helps with the moisture in the atmosphere. Here's how it works. If you take the air temperature, which is 92 degrees, and you get a relative humidity at 60%, you're up to film 105. That's what the heat index is. How about 65% humidity? 108 would be the heat index matched with 92 degree temperature. So there you see the hotter it gets and the muggier it gets, the harder it is to cool the body. And speaking of cooling the body, here's how it works. Low humidity, sweat evaporation removes body heat. That's why we say, wow, when it's dry air or lower humidity, it's not nearly as sticky because the body's allowed to cool itself with lower humidity. Dry air allows moisture to evaporate, which cools the body. And of course, high humidity, well, you've got more moisture Moist air limits evaporation, which makes, up, um, makes us feel pretty uncomfortable, so the sweat evaporation slows down. Bottom line, you've got to take care of yourselves and be careful if you're going to be outside. Here are some safety tips for you. Stay hydrated, lots of beverages, water, those sorts of things. Stay in the shade. Wear loose, light clothing so the body can breathe. Take frequent breaks, even if you think you don't need a break. Take a break to keep your body safe. Check on the elderly, the pets, and those sort of things, and we'll get through the summer season, of course, safely. Heat safety tips, heat index. Be careful, don't take it for granted.